Welcome to this new add-on Spotlight. In this add-on Spotlight, we're going to look at the latest development release of the Fly-by-Wire A320 because a new feature has been added and it all has to do with this nice panel over here, right? Currently, it still says, uh, let's say, terrain on ND, which is inoperable, right? So it doesn't work. But the good news is that since the latest development update, it will work. And the, the way it works is by having uh, SimBridge started, right? Which is part of the default fly-by-wire install. Uh, but make sure that it's started. If you disabled auto start on, then you will need to start it uh, manually. Uh, and what you always can do is go to these settings and inside the settings, go to the Sim options. And there you will see, if you set it to auto, you will see that the enable bridge connection is active. If it doesn't show active, you can uh, you need to check if it's of course running. Uh, by default, it's running on port 8380. So if it doesn't work, make sure that that's uh, the correct port and else uh, make changes here by uh, clicking on it and then uh, changing it. Uh, the other thing which I need to make you aware of is that in some cases, the SimBridge uh, auto start has been switched off. In that case, it will also not auto start. You need to start manually. Um, if it has started, you will get a nice prompt that it has started, of course. So that's the cool thing. So how to switch it on? Well, really easy. Simply press on and then it will appear in a few seconds. It will show you, I would say, the uh, altitudes or say the area around you, right? Because if we look around us, right, if we go, I would say, outside of the aircraft, you will see that there are a lot of mountains here in Innsbruck because that's where we're located now. Uh, I would say, and, and that's say is now visible on the map right so the map shows us now how we can fly through the mountains and will also warn us uh, in case there are mountains uh, i would say very close to us and that's well that can be handy uh, the good thing is that uh, the uh, terrain display as they call it is uh, working i would say really nice and it has two modes, right? Uh, I did not figure out yet how you can switch between the modes, to be honest. Uh, but there's a standard mode. And the standard mode displays the terrain uh, according to the vertical displacement between the terrain elevation and the aircraft's current altitude, right? So if the aircraft is more than 2,000 feet above the terrain, no terrain information is displayed. So be aware of that. So if you're seeing something, then you know that you're pretty close to uh, something uh, which is really high. For example, mountains. Then also we've got the peaks mode. Uh, in the peaks mode, terrain is displayed with regards to the absolute terrain elevation regarding to the sea level instead of the aircraft level, right? So it says it aims to improve terrain awareness of the flight crew. If the flight crew is more than 2000 feet above the terrain, the terrain is still displayed, but with a gradient of green. That's what you see here, right? So currently uh, I would say um, it's in the, uh, normal mode right in the standard mode and not in the peak mode so be aware of that uh, i also didn't find if there's an option to switch between both modes but uh let's see so currently in front of us uh, i would say another aircraft is taking off so let's uh, i would say fly around and see how it works right so we're gonna remove the option there and then we're going to increase throttle. Not sure what that other f aircraft is doing. It's making strange maneuvers. Also doesn't look that good to be honest. Nice rainbow over there. So let's start climbing, right? And let's see how it works and how it differs if you start climbing already. Uh, so let's. Innsbruck Tower Airbus frequency change. Innsbruck approach Airbus is type Airbus A20 and decreasing the speed a bit. Request flight following. Clear of conflict. Squawk five one six seven Airbus. 
Roger, Airbus. You hear the uh, HC only can, I would say, only is displayed in text and it's not, I would say, normal, right? So that's probably due to a bug in the latest sim update uh, beta version, which I'm testing. So you can see that the colors are now changing, right? It changes to, I would say, from dark red to lighter red because we're making, I would say, altitude, right? We're increasing the altitude. So based on that, we only see, I would say, the mountain tops. Uh, and that's the that's the other mode, right? That's the what they call the uh, the peaks mode. Let me also increase this altitude a little bit further. We'll also make sure that we're not going too fast because you can see that the aircraft tend to go really fast you can still see some peaks over here but it will get lighter and lighter right so what's really important is if i would say uh things are happening here or things are being shown up here it means that you're i'd say really close to something right at least in the 2000 feet range uh that's something which you need to be aware of if you're going higher than that 2000 feet above the mountains then you won't see anything anymore uh, but it's also good to understand, hey, if I'm close to something, it will show up. So keep an eye on this display. Uh, one thing is that it's currently only working in development release. So make sure that you're using the development release of the fly-by-wire A320 if you want to use this functionality. Be aware that the development version might cause issues, right? It, there are sometimes known issues with it. Uh, say if you experience them and they're unacceptable for you, then switch back to the normal version which is, I would say, uh, or is the recommendation uh, also of the fly-by-wire team. So keep that in mind. Don't start, I would say, being mad at them. Say, hey, uh, what you're doing is crap because this is what they built. The development uh, version is a development version, which is still being worked on. And hopefully it will make its way to the, I would say, normal version very, very soon. Here ends this add-on spotlight where we looked at the latest edition of the Fly-by-Wire A320 which now has I would say a cool map uh, or a cool feature I should say which is the terrain display which is still uh, shown as uh, not being working right the button at least but you can see it now works keep in mind Simbridge needs to be started uh, and all and the rest of that uh, the rest it works automatically right if you push the right buttons here ends the video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.